Hello everyone, I'm a mentor from the international office and I'm going to take you through the process of registering for your GC key and then creating your IRCC account. So, here is the overview for the topics we're going to cover. First of all, I will introduce you to why do you need a GC key and an IRCC account. Then we'll look at the process of signing up for your account with a GC key. For that, you will need to create a secure username and password and set up some recovery questions in case you lose your username and or password. Finally, we'll take a look at how to create your ISCC account online and set up security questions for it. So, what is a GC key and why does one need it? Well, GC key stands for Government of Canada key and you need a GC key to securely access the Government of Canada's online services. Without a GC key access, you can't enter into any of the government systems. Secondly, why does one need an IRCC account? After creating your GC key, you create an IRCC account, which lets you start an application, submit and pay for your application, get messages related to your application, check status of your application and update your information. Let's start by going through how to sign up with a GC key. You will need to start by typing GC key in a single word on Google. The links that will appear will differ depending on the region you're in, but you'll know that a link is correct if it shows the given information on top of it. Please click on that link. When you arrive at the web page, you should scroll down like so and click on Sign in with GC Key. Now you will be brought to this page. Next, click on Sign Up. It will bring you to the Terms and Conditions page, which you could read through, and then click on I Accept. The following step is to create your username and password. So here you will need to choose a username which qualifies these three conditions on the checklist. It has to be 8 to 16 characters long, it can't have any special characters, and it can't have more than 7 digits. I'm choosing my username from a random name. Once you're done, click on continue. Next, you will need to create a secure password. We would suggest you choose something that you can easily remember, but it shouldn't be easy enough for anyone else to predict. Again, there are some conditions your password must meet. It should also be from 8 to 16 characters long. It can't have three consecutive characters from your username. The characters must be valid. It must include lowercase characters, uppercase characters, digits, and the passwords must match. So here I'm putting in my passwords. As you see, the ticks are turning green. And as I am done, I can press continue to move forward. Once you're done creating a username and password, the next step is to set up your recovery questions in case you lose your username or password. Now, while setting up your recovery questions and answers, we advise that they be easily retrievable for you. It would be even wise to take a screenshot and save it. But these questions should not be easily guessable by a near one for your security. Here, I'm going to choose mine. Once you're done, press continue. As you can see, we have successfully signed up for GC Key. Press continue. Now let's proceed with creating an online IRCC account. Once you're done signing up, you should see this page with terms and conditions listed on it. You may read through them if you'd like and then click on I accept. Later, you should see this page saying create an IRCC account. Fill out your given name, your last name, your email address, And lastly, your preferred language. Here I'm choosing out mine. And then press continue. 
Following this, we will set up some security questions again, just like we did for the GCG signup. Here, you will need to create your own questions. Feel free to take a screenshot and save them as they will be crucial to retrieve your account in case you lose your username and or password. Here, as you can see, I'm filling out mine. Unlike the GC key, you will have to create your own questions as well in this case. Once you're done filling them out, click on continue. And voila, we have successfully created the IRCC account and now you can start your application process. I hope this video could be helpful to some of you in signing up with your GC key and IRCC account. I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.